Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Two years ago when I first started this reaction channel, I was looking for new bands because we had just started this reaction channel where we probably had like 2,000 subscribers and I was getting a lot of requests. And one of those requests was for someone to say, hey, have you heard of a band called Orbit Culture? They're from Sweden, they're musically incredible and their music is both heavy yet can tell a story that will completely and totally just completely capture your imagination and i was like no and they had me do the rivers reaction and you guys remember that one and it was in that studio where i got to see that musicianship and that smiling drummer's face and at that point i said there's something about this band that just makes me just lose myself in this storytelling that was two years ago things have certainly changed but one thing has not changed orbit culture sets a standard they do something as good as anybody in the world. They tell stories with amazing musicianship, heavy score, and vocals that'll chill you to your soul. My name is Old School Nerd. Here's my reaction to From the Inside from Orbit Culture. There's quite a few of fellow reactors that I've spoken to that I've asked, hey, who's who's like your favorite mid mid major band? You know, not not like, you know, Rammstein or 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 Metallica or the big no, not the big ones. Like okay, so you have the big mega bands that everybody knows the names of, you know? And then you have the bands that are kind of in the mid, you know, they they they're the meat and potatoes. They're the reason why you go to those big festivals because they're the ones that like keep you just jamming through the whole day before you get to the night, right? And then you have your up and coming bands, right? Orbit Culture is for at least three of my fellow reactors, their favorite mid-major band because of the storytelling, because of the musicianship. There's something about this band that kind of reminds me of Gojira because the first time I did a reaction to Orbit Culture, the next day, I did a reaction to um, We Were Born For One Thing by Gojira. And I was like completely captivated by both bands' storytelling. If you tell Orbit Culture that they're compared to Gojira, they're going to be pretty excited. But in their own right, they're incredible. Here's the new one from the inside. I'm going to play it all the way through. I will not stop it. That was my little preamble. Let's get to the reaction. We'll talk about it after. Let's go. It's six minutes long. Sit down, strap in, we're gonna be here a bit. There he is. a lot of low end. Love that.
It's so deep on the low end, but man, it's it's There's so much going on. Okay, um, that was a lot. Orbit culture. Um, <laughs> from the inside, uh, that's pretty much how they just made everything uh, disturbed with that wall of sound they put forth from the inside. I feel my insides are flipping over. Okay, let's talk about it, all right? Um, first off, exactly what I expect from them, massive wall of musicianship. Uh, the imagery to me for this band is not nearly as important as the musical storytelling. From the very first time I saw them in my first reaction, that was a studio playthrough. So, of course, I'm all about the musicianship. They do show a lot of it. Uh, first off, uh, massive drumming. A lot of it was seriously four on the floor for the most part to push the song through. But he did have moments where there was a lot of movement, syncopation, midfills, and let's not even discount the level of kick drum prowess there. That was some serious flipping right there. Um, 
vocals are always on point. I do love when he does melodic. Uh, the harsh are always so devastatingly powerful. Um, let's talk about two things I I I wasn't expecting from this from Orbit Culture's outing here. First one, that guitar solo. Normally, you would expect something very loud, distorted, fast, over the top. This kind of reminded me of when Lorna Shore last year did that that trilogy, where even though it was Lorna Shore going extremely fast and what Lorna Shore does best, it was almost like a ballad because even the guitar solos were phrased like ballads. The guitar solo was what you'd expect from Orbit Culture. Music, uh, the musicianship and the technique were outstanding, but it was a little slower because it carried over that melody, that arc. It kind of told a story. It flowed. It wasn't just to see how fast they could shred it. It was trying to carry you further into the story. Double thumbs up on that. The other thing for me, um, the only thing that, that kind of caught me off guard that I, I wasn't loving, and this is, remember, when you're talking about Orbit Culture and a lot of these bands, when someone gives a reaction and they give you your thoughts, take them with a grain of salt because what this this part of it that I didn't care for may be what it may be somebody's favorite part of this song. And if that's the case, they're doing their job because it's appealing to everybody. There was a lot of sound. The key part in that mid-range, in the middle of the song, the keys, they were so distorted, they were also in the same, they were close to the frequency of the guitar's distortion. So it kind of made it muddy. To where I couldn't, I couldn't hear the guitars. I couldn't the keys. It was kind of like they were conflicting with each other. Now that I've said that, what if that was Orbit Culture's purpose? Then they did exactly what they were supposed to. I don't know. I'm just listening to it and thinking about it. I'm one of those people that loves to hear the music develop and layer and all these things, and I don't like the layers to compete. So when they do, it sticks out in my head. Nothing bad. If they meant to do that, then there you go. Big, huge thumbs up to me, one of my favorite parts, was the epic reprisal at the end. They completely cut the song out and they build up to this immense, huge reprisal to drive home the point at the end. Bands don't do this very often. They'll just cut out to the end of the song or they'll do a breakdown and then a reprisal, a reprisal course to finish the song. They finish the song, come back with a reprisal to reiterate the point. You know, kind of like when you... um. Kind of like that knockout punch. You know you've already won the fight, but you step back, measure off one good hit to make sure that person always remembers your name. By the way, the name is Orbit Culture. All right, everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Uh, th this was that guitar solo I was telling you about. It was, it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't like just to be fast. It was trying to just carry the arc over into that. It was so beautiful. All right, for metal music, they're one of the best. And they're from Sweden, so we know we love that. All right, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd. This was Orbit Culture. This is probably my fourth or fifth reaction to them. And every time I find something I love even more. Um, this is one of those bands that I hope to one day meet and tell them thank you. Because this is one of the bands that made me kind of open my eyes to more of the um, progressive metal styles. The stuff that really layers and not be afraid to reach out. And because of this band, I was able to go off and find other bands throughout YouTube and around music that really challenge you musically, which was awesome. All right, guys, great job. And uh, the only thing I missed on this is I didn't get to see the smiling face of the drummer. By the way, he has an amazing smiling face. When he smiles, your whole world lights up. And I, I, I mention that every uh, reaction because I know it embarrasses him. Sorry. All right, everybody, there you go. Orbit Culture from the inside. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.